going on guys? William Holtz with Lake TV and I'm here with Jessica Bruce with the J. Bruce Real Estate Team here at Old Kinderhook. It's been a while since we've gotten to catch up, Jess. I know, you've been missing me, haven't you? I, I have <laughs> been. I figured we had to get together, catch up a little bit. I wanted you to tell everybody what's going on. It's fall season. We've had some fun. Oh, I love fall. Yep, it's one of my favorites. Pumpkin spice lattes, candy, candy corn, candy canes. And uh, all the good, all the good feels with it. So yeah, we're gonna find out Jess's favorite Halloween candy. Have a little fun with that. We'll show you guys a really cool listing Jess has right now here at Old Kinderhook. That and a whole lot more as we sit down with Jessica Bruce and the J. Bruce Real Estate Team right here <laughs> on Lake TV. Now inside here for our catch up with Jessica Bruce with the J. Bruce Real Estate Team with Remax Lake of the Ozarks. Jess, happy October. It's fall season at the lake, baby. Same to you. Fall season is one of my favorites. The colors, the trees. So everybody usually thinks I'm making it up, but if you drive around Lake of the Ozarks in the fall, it's amazing. There are all the trees kind yeah. of overgrowing on the roads, and so you're just driving through all these amazing, vibrant colors, reds, yellows. Um, yeah. oranges it's beautiful and when yeah. we get to that point which is right around the corner the sun still has to set and you know those lake of the ozark sunsets oh, are yeah. unparalleled across the country so fall is really one of my favorite seasons here at the lake as I well agree. so before we get into what yeah. the market is doing in this beautiful home we're in right now we told you jay bruce real estate team which sounds new because it is you got to catch us up to speed on what's going on in the life and the world the real estate business of Jessica Bruce. That's right, well, lots going on, lots happening, but uh, Nicole and I, you know, as you all know, have been partners for a long time, and we just decided to go our separate ways. The ladies kind of felt the same, and um, I'm, she's gonna do awesome, great things, and our team's doing uh, great things as well, going strong, and so J. Bruce Real Estate Team, we moved to uh, 1667 Bagnell Dam there on the Strip, just before you get down there. So come check us out in our new location, scope out the sign, the yeah. logo, and uh, give us a call. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Pretty exciting. And man, I'll tell you, you guys did some big things together in 2021, yeah. record setting 2020. And so now as you guys go in different directions, I'm excited to see yeah. what kind of numbers you're gonna hit. We always like to track that, you know, cause it's not just about that, but it's kind of a gauge on, you know, how the year goes. And yep. so a whole new challenge for 2022. And through nine months as we head into October, what's the market doing right now? So right now the market still continues to stay strong. Um, as most people, you know, want to talk and the media hypes it up that the market's going to crash. That's not really what's happening. Um, there has been a slowdown in terms of number of units and volume. However, average price on your home has increased. So national averages, looking nationally, if you were to have sold your home in 2020, you would have probably gotten about $80,000 less than you would today. If you would have sold that home in 2012, you want to take a stab how much less you might have gotten? I'd say about 230,000. You're very close, about 200. Wow, yeah. So in 10 year span of time for your home to have appreciated potentially 200,000, again, that's a national average. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty good. That's so, really yes. good. And, and I do see that, as you mentioned, you know, the media says, man, there's going to be this real estate crash. They keep referencing 2008 as mm -hmm. if it's happening again. But I think that when you look at national media, you almost have to throw that out the window in relation to Lake of the Ozarks because yep. if I've noticed anything, Jess, mm -hmm. it's that the national interest in people coming to Lake of the mm -hmm. Ozarks with you know some of these developments. You just heard about that $63 million affordable housing complex in yep. Osage Beach. They're still working on you know the outlet mall purchase. Then you've got that big stretch of land yep. being developed behind Walmart and Camdenton and Lynn Creek. And so all of these things are attracting new people, meaning these people have to buy houses somewhere. Correct. And there is, and not just here, but nationally, there is a housing short shortage. And there has been even pre-pandemic. Builders have not caught up with that. Uh, new construction exploded in 2020. And then builders got a little bit nervous with the uh, increase in material prices. Yeah. You know, that made all of them a little bit... Um, 
I'll just say it again, nervous, you know, is you're paying a dollar for lumber one day and you're paying 20 the next day. And so we're seeing material prices come back down to pre-COVID or around the COVID pricing. Yeah. So builders' interest on getting back into new construction is picking up. Um, and then apartments, uh, rentals throughout the United States. Rent rates are up very high and it's some of the highest rental uh, numbers and figures that we've seen in the United States for many years. Yeah, and I wanted to kind of touch on that real quick. You know, when you talk about nightly rentals, the lake, something that's mm -hmm. really taken off yeah. the last couple of years. How have nightly rentals um, impacted or affected that median range housing availability? I think that nightly rentals, especially in a resort uh, area like we are, or Colorado, Florida areas, Hawaii, uh, that does push those prices up. And so when you're picking up a nightly rental or an income producing home, you're typically paying a little bit more for it, but it's it's producing some numbers for you. It's gonna be an ever growing issue here at the lake because oh, yeah. it still feels like as we get more recognition nationally, mm -hmm. we're still kind of a well-kept secret. And once somebody discovers Lake of the Ozarks for the first time, their thought is, how do I get there more? Or yeah. how do I move down there? I know. Talking to one of those viewers right now mm -hmm. that is potentially looking at making an investment, buying a second home, or hey, relocating here and buying a first home. Give them just a couple of things they should start thinking about now to get themselves ahead of the rest of that buyer's pool. Definitely have your finances in order. So pre-approval is super important. Just have that ready to go because you've got to be willing and ready to compete. So either know if you're going to 1031 exchange the funds, know what you're selling and how much you're going to have to work with to purchase it. If you're paying cash for it, have those funds available, whether you're pulling them out of a money market or some investment portfolio, et cetera. Or if you're going to do a loan, also fine as well. Talk to that lender first. Don't talk to them the week that you want to start looking at property. Talk to them now. And so that way you're getting pre-approved. Yeah. You understand what your interest rate is going to be, what your down payment's going to be, and you have all your paperwork in. So if you have those things going, you're, you're ahead of the game already. And then on the rental market and the pickup there on properties, Gosh, there's a lot to know. I would recommend giving us a call. Uh, we work with Manage Me Properties as well, John Van Zee. He does a great job explaining it. You know, you need to understand if you're purchasing something in an HOA that doesn't allow for rentals, you need to understand values. You need to look at City of St. Louis, for instance, um, just passed a tax code where they are, uh, they're, they're taxing all of those rentals commercially. So their tax bills went up. Um, so they're arguing over that issue. So there's a lot of things that you need to understand about nightly rentals, how to purchase them, where to purchase them, and what, yeah. what really looks good for one before just cutting a check. Yeah, and I think everything when it comes to this type of decision at this caliber is being diligent. And it goes back to if you have the right real estate team, the right realtor on your team, they help you get there. And in my opinion, of course, I can speak from my uh, experience. <laughs> I've only bought one home and it was with this lady right here. And she was awesome. And speaking of homes, Jess, we're in this beautiful home yeah. located right here at Old Kinderhook, yeah. one of the premier golf resorts at Lake of the Ozarks. Love golf it out here. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about this home that just hit the market recently. So in keeping with the nightly rental spirit, this home, they purchased it and they actually do rent this home nightly. Uh, so it does have some income uh, producing numbers that we could share with you. It is located just off the golf course, uh, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, a little over 3,000 square feet. You've got covered decks, you have open decks, great views, two car garage, can't beat it. Old Kinderhook, in my opinion, is one of the lake's best kept secrets. Every time you drive in here, it's like you're in your own little world, maybe up in the mountains. It's very, uh, there are a lot of trees and it's just beautiful. And this home, like you said, available. And so let's say they're watching, they're like, man, I want to talk to Jess and go check that out. How can we contact yeah. you? You can call my office line, 573-302-3600. That's probably the quickest, the fastest. You can visit our website, www.jessbruce.com. And uh, or you can call Will, harass him a little bit, especially if it's two in the morning. So you Heck can yeah, get I'm myself. a great <laughs> leads generator for my girl here. So yeah, That's you right. call me, I'll get you in touch. <laughs> Message us on Facebook, no doubt about it. Okay, so listen, we've talked about homes, we've talked about the market a little bit, but I wanna get back to the fall theme. And the only thing that I think of truly when I think of fall is Halloween and how I'm no longer, well, not saying I don't, it's not really socially acceptable for me to go around and trick or treat. So <laughs> I don't get to experience the candy like I used to during Halloween. So I brought my own. Did you realize that Reese's used to just be peanut butter cups, you know, then they did their holiday themed ones, which yep. are the best. Those are the best. The eggs, the trees, and of oh, course the pumpkins. Do you know they have like 4,322 flavors now? Of Reese's? Yeah. That's insane. We've got Reese's for days. So I'm gonna ask for a little help from Andrew and Ricky 
to get the, toss that bag first over here, would you? This is what we thought about doing as Halloween uh. candy, but you know, you either love these or hate these, and I think Jess and I are on the same page. Yeah. Uh, Thumbs down. We're not even gonna open those. Disgusting. You know what Reese's comes from? Uh huh. Pearly Gates. Bring those over. Little here, angels sent from Little above. Little angels. Oh. The boys are jealous oh that they're gosh, not gonna. Oh my gosh, This is ridiculous. And I think I should suggest that oh, we these only do favorites. one bite of yes. each. Otherwise, I mean, I'm still recovering from last night's candy bender. So. Is this why you had Brindley so you can get all the Halloween candy you want? True. It's yes. It's like taking candy from a baby. Yes. That's not right. I'm bringing that baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Over for a stash. As we said. For some reason, these holiday themed ones, they seem to have a better proportional uh, of peanut butter and mm -hmm. chocolate. And Already they're just like the absolute best. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna get mine up there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'll just take yours too. Thank mm -hmm. you. Know Here's a new one. Reese's Potato Chips Big Cup. I just so, don't feel you should put Lay's Potato Chips in the Big Cup. But listen, you'll eat like a chocolate covered pretzel. I guess. You'll eat a chocolate covered peanut. Okay. Same principle. Yeah, in case you guys didn't see those, just show you guys those. Oh, the big cup, thank goodness. The big cup with potato chip. Interesting. Okay. Guess yours ready. Mm. In case anyone's wondering how I keep my uh, girlish figure, this is a regular thing. Not getting thinner today, me. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> Terrible. I'm going to have to diet for at least six months. Actually, wow. It is salty. No, that's delicious is what that is. This is nut rageous. Hmm. This is so just this filled with, better. this is filled with milk, chocolate, peanuts, peanut butter, and caramel. Oh, mm. okay. Now we're getting somewhere with the Toast. <laughs> a little too busy. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. All right, here's the mini, oh, the mini yeah. Reese's Cups. I'm not even going to wait for you. No, I'm not either. Oh, you're good. Better try two just to be sure. <laughs> Reese's stick after oh, you. What's a Reese's stick? So it's, just pull it out. It's almost like a, oh yeah, you didn't want the whole thing. Oh, that's too much. It's like a Twix? Mm-mm. Like a Kit Kat? Like a Nutty Buddy. Mm. My stomach's starting to turn. Mine too. It's a lot of chocolate. It is a lot of chocolate. And these are so big. Who let you go to the candy store by yourself? <laughs> Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the car the pretzel crunch. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. Just want a little guy. Mm-mm. Which one is that? Tastes like a protein bar. Wait, Look at this. Have you seen this one? No. Peanut butter lovers. Milk chocolate and peanut butter, but the top layer of chocolate's a peanut butter flavored chocolate. Okay. I'm down for so, that. So like, what happened to the people at the Reese's factory? Like, they get dropped on their head. They're like, let's put this in a Reese's and see if it works. I think so. I was telling you earlier, there is a blueberry Kit Kat. It's a white chocolate blueberry Kit Kat. Who thinks of this stuff? Back to no, it's too much the holiday butter. themes. Right. Yeah. Are so good because it's the perfect yeah, mix. Yeah, it's too much peanut butter for me. That's too much peanut butter. Oh my gosh, there are two more. No, these are big cups. Yeah. They got the big cups, like why waste time? <laughs> and these ones have Since the I'm Reese's. Since I'm already on 667, might as well get the big cups too. <laughs> this has the Reese's Pieces inside it. It makes me think of E.T. Remember Reese's Pieces in E.T.? No. Uh, anybody? Mm. Mm. Too much. Yeah. This is the best one. No. That's why I went so light and barely took a bite of any of those. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm planning on eating this whole one. Half a chunk, half a chunk, <laughs> Will's chunk. <laughs> Mmm. Oops, now I'm making a mess. Mm. Mm. Ten second rule, I'll get it in a second. <laughs> so just don't lick it off the floor. Just pick your what we're gonna do, pick okay. our top three, and I'm gonna go first. Okay. I'm gonna go with the chip being number one. Oh. Or number three, the potato chip. The Reese's eggs or pumpkin regular as number two. And these guys are always gonna be number one for me, the white chocolate. Okay, egg. this is tough. I know what mm. my one and two are, but I don't know if I have a third. So number one is the holiday. Absolutely love it. Number two, really love the Reese's sticks. I knew you were gonna say that. Those were so good. Number three. The minis, you love the minis. I do like the minis, but get changed up. I'll go pretzel. The pretzel, the pretzel was, was good too. The pretzel was a good time. That was fun, but I have a stomach ache. I really am gonna throw one. Already. Okay, <laughs> thanks. All right, that was a bad idea. 
terrible idea. I have You're got a tummy ache. Literally not in charge of these ideas anymore. Okay? The only <laughs> thing that Jessica Bruce and the Jay Bruce real estate team can't help you with is a stomach ache. No. But they can help you with everything else. So make sure you give them a call. <laughs> One more time, how can we reach out to you guys? You can give me a call, 573-302-3600. After midnight, definitely call this guy's cell. We'll I, flash that on the screen. <laughs> I guess that's, do not put that on the screen, Andrew. <laughs> you heard me right here, right now. Well, hey, happy fall, everybody. It's been a blast catching up for October, Jess. We'll look forward to seeing you next month. Yeah.